Hello, I'm Dr. Sophie Lund Rasmussen or Dr. Hedgehog. My colleagues and I have just recently published a study on hedgehogs and robotic lawnmowers. The population of hedgehogs is in decline all over Europe. Therefore, it's extremely important that we monitor the population to discover which challenges they face in the wild so that we can improve the conservation initiatives directed at this species protection. During the past years, garden owners and hedgehog carers have discovered hedgehogs with serious injuries, presumably caused by robotic lawnmowers. Unfortunately, these cases haven't been properly documented and the types of injuries seen could also have been caused by garden strimmers and in some cases dog bites. This was why my colleagues and I from Aalborg University and Wild Crew University of Oxford decided to test whether robotic lawnmowers hurt hedgehogs. We tested 18 different models of robotic lawnmowers. They were chosen to represent the different technical specifications available on the European market. Each robotic lawnmower was tested 12 times in collision with dead hedgehogs. We used dead hedgehogs for the study that had unfortunately died in care. Each robotic lawnmower was tested with four different hedgehogs representing four different weight classes, all tested in three different positions. The results showed that every single robotic lawnmower had to physically interact with the hedgehog in order to detect it. Some models drove up to the hedgehog and gave it a light nudge and then changed directions and moved on. Other machines pushed the hedgehog and continued to drive running over the hedgehog. Some of these models actually lived up to the safety regulations and stopped once they were on top of the hedgehog. But other machines unfortunately continued running, causing serious damage to the hedgehogs. So to sum up, some of the robotic lawnmowers we tested were harmless to hedgehogs and other caused injuries to the hedgehogs. Our results showed that three different technical specifications increased the safety for the hedgehogs. The first one was the presence of pivoting blades, which fold underneath this protective plate when they hit something harder than grass. The other technical feature was the presence of skid plates that protect the knives when they hit something harder than grass, but also protect the hedgehogs because the knives are not visible. The last feature was front wheel drive. It's important to mention that not all of the robotic lawn mowers we tested, which had pivoting blades, were harmless to hedgehogs. If you want to read the results on how each robotic lawn mower performed in our tests, please have a look at the scientific article. In light of the results, the next important steps are to communicate the results to the manufacturers of robotic lawnmowers so that they can improve the design of future machines and make them more hedgehog friendly. But it's also important to document how a live hedgehog reacts to a robotic lawnmower. Because when we know how they will typically react, we'll be able to make standardized tests and hedgehog crest test dummies or hedgehog models to perform tests on new robotic lawnmowers, which will enable a labeling system, labeling robotic lawnmowers as hedgehog friendly and helping the consumers to make a hedgehog friendly purchase. In the meantime, I'll recommend you to go online and read the scientific study, which my colleagues and I have just published, and the link text will be provided shortly. Please make sure that your robotic lawnmower only runs during daylight hours. Even though hedgehogs are nocturnal, they can be active during the day for several different reasons. This is why I also recommend that you check your lawn before you turn your mower on to make sure that no wildlife species which could be vulnerable to robotic lawnmowers are present. This could be hedgehogs, leverets, amphibians or baby birds. Thank you for watching.